This is John Champion in the company of Jim Beglin and a warm welcome to the Camp Nou. Yeah, thanks, John. What a brilliant atmosphere we've got in this stadium today. I mean, both sets of players must be really looking forward to this, as we are. And the perfect prelude to any big game, the UEFA Champions League anthem. So, Jim, nearly time to kick off. How do you see this one going? Well, both teams have spent enough time on preparation. I mean, physically and tactically, they should be in perfect condition. It might come down to look today, you know. Let's see how both these teams will line up. Away we go then. The linesman's kept his flag down and they get it away. All Brighton. Pushed away. And he's on the move. No, beaten to it. Well, if they're going to trouble this opposition, then every single player has to contribute more. Their passing needs a serious lift. Looking to thread it through. Could be a chance now. There's a possibility here for a shot. He just took too long there. Oh, you've got to make your mind up quicker than that. He just allowed the defence to get back behind. Wants to get this forward. Ireland. Here's Bent. They're breaking out quickly here. Promising run down the byline. Sends the cross to the back post. And he's there to clear it. Unzogbia. Ireland. Midway through this first half, and play has settled into a nice pattern. A cross coming in. The cross ending up in the goalkeeper's hands. Darren Bent. All Brighton. All Brighton. A fine display of slick passing. Through ball over the top. The goalkeeper's dealt with it. Five minutes before half time, and it's level. Ireland. All Brighton. Looking to carve open the defence. Shoots here. They've done it. It's one goal to nil. Super teamwork there. And when the ball through is that good, there isn't much a defence can do. That's as incisive as it comes.
They get us underway at 1-0. Well, they've done well to take the lead there, but they can't let their opponents back in. Have to stay focused. Ball forward, and it's the keeper on the receiving end of the cross. 